All right, here we go. Episode two of our tiny epic dungeon series. We're going to be painting the dwarf fighter. Real simple. These things are pretty tiny, and that's why it takes them a little extra time, because it takes you a little extra time to do everything, but nothing too crazy. Hey, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's a YouTube member and supports this channel monetarily. You guys are awesome. Helps out so much buying new stuff and getting more content out there quicker. So thank you. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. You got nothing to lose. Just hit that thumbs up, hit that bell, and watch the video. That's all you gotta do. But without further ado, let's go. Obviously the first thing we're going to be doing is scraping off all those nasty mold lines. I'm going to be using a file for a lot of this, but I do have a craft knife or a scraper that I'm going to be using as well. Once you're done with that, take some old spray can cap, put some sticky tack onto it, and we're going to stick those things on there, and then I'm going to be using an airbrush to paint over, excuse me, Whew. paint over or get the primer onto there, and I'm only doing black, that's the only thing I'm doing. All right, we're gonna start with some Kedian flesh tone on our skin color. So we're gonna be doing the face, the hands, and the arms. Now, obviously, he's so small; it's gonna take you a little bit of time. It's almost more, it's almost harder to paint small miniatures like this than it is to do bigger miniatures um, because you gotta take your time. And he also has this little mouthy between, uh, underneath his beard or his mustache. For the orange beard, we're going to be doing some Jacu, Jacario, whatever it is, orange, and we're going to be putting that all over the, the mohawk, the beard, and the mustache that's coming down. To do a pre-highlight phase or a pre-highlight step, we're going to be doing some Troll Slayer Orange. We're really just going to be hitting the top areas of the beard. For our top areas of the stone, so it's going to be on the shoulder pads, we're going to be doing some Dawn Stone. It's just in between the top portion of the shoulder pads where we're going to be painting gold. For our shield, we're going to be doing some Mornfang Brown. And for our shirt, we're going to be doing some McCrag Blue. Make sure you also get the shoulder portion of the 
uh, shirt that is sticking out right below the pauldrons. For our belt, we're going to be doing some Rhinox hide. We're also going to be using this color on the boots as well. Uh, for all of our metal bits, we're going to be doing some lead belchers, so those two areas on the back of the belt. For the front and back area of the, I don't even know what to call it, it's Talbert, I guess. Lower area Talbert, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're gonna use Mephiston Red. For the pants, we're gonna be using some Skaven Blight Dinge along with the cross uh, suspenders, I guess you could say, for the pauldrons on the back. For the top portion of the pauldrons, it's going to be some Retributor armor. We are also using this color on the metal portions around his wrists as well. Along with the shield and the edging of the talberd around his waist. And finally put some of those white in those eye sockets just real quick. To start our wash phase, we're going to take some Fugian Orange and put it all over our beard area. And while you're letting this dry, because you have several washes to do, head over to our Instagram, nerd.nights. I'm going to post a giveaway here, another giveaway here pretty quick for some Massive Darkness 2. If you are interested, let me know in the comments below. For the skin area, we're going to be doing some Reichland Flesh Shade. We're also going to use Reichland Flesh Shade on all of the gold areas as well. Uh, for all of our metal areas, we're going to be doing some Nolan Oil. This is also going to include the hammer as well. For our shield and our boots, we're going to be using some Agrax Earthshade. And for our shirt, we're going to use some Dragonoff Nightshade.
All right, for our first highlight, we're gonna take some Troll Slayer Orange, and we're gonna put that onto the raised areas of our beard. Taking our time, not trying to get into the recesses at all. This is gonna take a little bit more effort and time consumption, but it's gonna look really good in the end when we do the beard, because the beard is definitely the focal point of this miniature. Now this phase is going to be your biggest highlight phase with the Troll Slayer Orange. You can cover almost all the raised to surface areas on our hair of our dwarf. Uh, and this is going to be starting our highlight, real big highlight of from real kind of dark orange to a very light, almost white orange that you'll see here in a second. All right, for our next step, we're going to be doing some Fire Dragon Bright. And again, we're only going over the raised areas. And we're going to put more of a focal point on the middle of that beard right below the mouth. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to really brighten up that middle of that beard to make it look like the sun is reflecting off of it here in a minute. When you're satisfied with your last highlight, go with a 50-50 mix of Ushabdi Bone and Fire Dragon Bright, and we're really gonna start stepping up our brightness a little bit. And we're gonna really focus on the middle of that beard, the tips of the beard on the bottom, and a little bit on the tops of the mohawk and portions of the um, mustache that is coming down. For our final highlight, we're gonna be really just using some Ushabdi Bone very sparingly. Primarily in the middle of that beard, we're going to be using that Ushabdi bone to really break up that brightness. Next, we're going to um, hit those that mustache that's coming down and the top parts of our hair as if the sun were hitting it, creating that nice tone variant. It's going to look fantastic on the table. Now, obviously, less is more in this scenario, so don't overdo it. All right, for our first highlight, we're gonna go over again with some Cadian Flesh Tone over the raised areas. We're not redoing the entire skin. We're looking at the forehead, the cheekbones, the nose, the fingertips, the knuckles, those areas. We're not re-going over the entire thing. Just building up our highlights. And again, you don't want very much paint on your paintbrush. You just want enough to put paint on there and not overdo it. Next, we're going to do a 50-50 mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh. And again, we're going over those same areas, but we're just really building up those highlights, hitting the tops of the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the little earsies on the side, the fingertips, the knuckles, the same thing we're just doing. But you just want to do a little bit less this time, building it up, making it so that once last final highlight is as bright as it's going to get, and it creates that tone variation. And finally, we're going to use this pure Kislev flesh, and we're really just using this sparingly on the t bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, and the forehead, along with just a little bit on the knuckles of our hands of our dwarf. Not going crazy, just hitting those raised areas. To finish off the face, we're going to put a little bit more white in those orbitals of our dwarf. Then take a nice healthy glob of Athromatic Blue and dump it right in the middle of that. He's got glowing eyes according to the card art and we want to just give him that nice glowing effect. And that will do it once this thing fully dries. For all of our gold pieces we're going to take some Liberator Gold and put that on top of it. Or on the side or whatever we need. For our shield, we're just going to go over the raised areas. Do not get anything in the recesses of some scrag brown. All 
Uh, for our metal bits, specifically on the beard, we're going to be doing some Iron Breaker. And to highlight up our shirt, we're going to do this a little Al Talk Blue, if that's even how you say it. Close enough. And just to do a little bit of highlight onto our hammer, we're just going to take some Dawnstone and hit those raised areas once again. And finally to add some color variation of those boots, just using some Gorthor Brown on the top portion of that boot. And if you got too much into those eyes, you want to brighten them up a little bit, take a little bit of white and put them in the middle. And finally, your favorite part of painting this miniature, because that means you're done, the base. With that, but on black, because that's what I'm using. That's it. You're done. Not terrible. Not crazy. It is tiny, so it does take more time. But it probably looks, <clears throat> as my voice goes out, very good. So... Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. If you're a YouTube member, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys are awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but until next time, paint on.